Hey, it's James from Rocks and James. Hope you're enjoying your evening wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. I'm sitting out here relaxing on a cool fall evening in my backyard listening to crickets, cat purr, coyotes in the background. There's even a rooster. Just kind of an odd time of day to be hearing a rooster, but hey, my roosters, you know, they, they crow all the time. I can hear uh, all sorts of other animals in the background. We even have black bears running through here, all sorts of fun things. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that you are taking time like this, that you're sitting down, just relaxing, taking time to do nothing. Nothing is like doing something in reality. As long as you're taking a moment to get peaceful and to get calm, maybe do a little meditation. Some one of the things I like to do is do kind of a contemplative meditation where I find a word, a word that's peaceful for me, that's special for me, that's spiritual, whatever that might be for you. It could be uh, something like the word love, gratitude, peace. Um, it could be a personage. Uh, whatever one kind of word that brings a focus to your thoughts so that you can just relax. So you find the word, and that word is gonna help you focus in one place so that all the cares of the world, all those things that we go through each and every day that threaten to crowd our ability to get peaceful, to get clear, to get real, and to remember what we are, who we are, what our intention is, and keep us away from our creative gifts. And one word will help you focus so that all of those things can melt away, so that you can let go of them, and eventually even let go of that word, right? So you find the space, you schedule the time, because if you don't schedule it, you won't do it. Why do I say that? because I know that, because I struggle with the same thing. How do I schedule the time? And if I don't schedule it, it doesn't happen. But maybe you just look at doing two or three times a week where you can schedule 20 or 30 minutes in your calendar of like what Brene Brown says, white space, where it's a nothingness time, which is so good for helping you to rejuvenate, to get focused again and to be more productive and effective in the time that you do have, in your relationships, in your other activities of life. Things like meditation are so key. So you've got the word, you're repeating the word, you're thinking of the word so that all the cares of life melt away. Eventually the word melts away and you might get to that space at one, or that place at one, at, as, you, as you practice this where everything drops away and you get into like nothingness or to the void and lots of people have different names for it and you drop into that and that's when the real magic happens and you can find that with practice it might begin with two to three times a week and eventually daily twice a day 20 to 30 minutes that's what you want to work towards right as you're in and you drop into that void into that nothingness into that magical space where all of the inspiration and creativity and singleness of mind and purpose come to us if the world and the daily grind all the things that we think we need to care about start to creep back in go back to the word remember the word use the word focus on the word so that everything else floats away and eventually the word and you can drop back in if you'll do that, I know when I do that, when I'm able to focus on that, when I'm able to schedule that and I do it, it's magical what happens on so many different levels of your life, from physical to spiritual and beyond. So, grab your favorite essential oil. That's what I like to do. Sometimes you can use music, but I'm sitting out here with the crickets and the peace and the wind through the rustling through the leaves. That's good enough music for me. Then I add in my favorite essential oil. This is by a company called doTERRA. It's called Amavi. Love it. It's very earthy and tree, oily smelling. 
I'm wiping underneath my nose so I get constant diffusing in my nasal passages through that sensory organ, right? And then I can even take it, I have an advantage with my hairless noggin and I can put it on there, put it on the back of my neck, right? Roll it on there. Mm, put it on my wrists. You can really put it anywhere. Roll that oil on whatever the, your favorite oil is. This is my favorite company and this is one of my favorite oil blends that they produce for meditation, okay? And I put that on. And then I've got my word and I get comfortable. I don't have to worry so much about my breathing or anything. Just get into a comfortable position, whatever's comfortable for you. And just relax. I have my word. And I just focus on that. And I'm looking for nothingness. For a void of space that I almost don't even remember what happened. And yet magic happens in that space and in those moments. So take the time. Schedule the time. You got to schedule it. Make it happen. Find the magic, find the renewal, find the peace, the clarity, the focus, the efficiency that comes in other areas of your life when you take this time and this moment. So I challenge you to maybe start out with twice a week. Schedule 20 minutes and do this. And make a list of different words that are, have meaning to you, that are special to you. And use them, rotate them in and out. If you comment below, I'll send you some of my favorite essential oil singles and blends that you can use to meditate with and that might help you in your individualness get into that space. All right, have a great evening. Look forward to more communication and tips down the road. Happy meditation. Comment below on some of your favorite ways to meditate, what you like to do, what works for you, and and how much meditation has helped you in the different facets of your life. All right, good evening.